Hi guys, I'm Dan at VintageVelo.org and today we are going to make use of this rather glorious spring day uh, to go two bikes head to head. Uh, we are going to put the Zeus 2000, the Spanish Zeus that we rebuilt over winter head to head up against my buddy's Colnago Super. Now if you remember, uh, Zeus, Spanish maker, they set themselves a high target, a high bar to aim at. They were creating a bike virtually entirely in-house from the dropouts, the frame, all the group set, everything in-house made. And their challenge was to make themselves a better frame than Colnago and a better group set than Campagnola. A seriously tough ask. And the Zeus 2000 is uh, is the pinnacle of what they came up with. Um, now, we've got the two bikes here. Uh, we're gonna take the Colnago Super out for a refresher ride. Now, I rode that last year, or year before, um, as a benchmark for what a really, really good still framed vintage bike should ride and feel like. Uh, so it'll be fascinating to see what it's like head to head up against the Zeus. Now, to be fair to both of them, they are in the tradition of this channel, too small for me. Um, the Zeus almost fits me by having a, uh, a longer stem, um, but really uh, if I had the seat post up by about another 20 mil, um, that would make a big difference. The Super is just a bit too small, but I'm used to that, so uh, you know um, I can live with it. Um, Weight-wise, there really isn't much in it. I thought the Zeus would be a lot lighter because there's quite a lot of titanium parts on here, but in reality, 100 or 200 grams is in it barely enough that you would notice. Fortunately, both bikes set up uh, with 1328s on the back uh, and the front sprockets are um, 52, 42. So both very, very rideable. Uh, you certainly get a lot more pantograph, deep pantograph parts on the Colnago, but on the Zeus, well, check out the chain ring, uh, black and silver, quite something, and drilled out parts for lightness that didn't make any difference. Um, fortunately on this one, well, they both have uh, VeloFlex tires on there as well. Um, so to be fair, on paper, shouldn't be much in it. Um, and we know the Colnago Super is a super bike to ride. It's really cool. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how the Zeus goes. But enough about that. Let's just get straight out on the road on the Super, remind ourselves how that one rides. First up, Colnago Super. Let's be fair, if you ever just want to get hold of or ride a serious top draw vintage steel bike, look no further. Carnogo Super is the bike to get. They're just great. Um, the frame really lovely and silky smooth. The geometry is nice. I'm just rolling along here. It's really easy to ride. You see tons of these on uh, Eroica and other vintage sportives and it's really easy to see why. Um, you know, you could soak up an awful lot of miles in total joy on one of these supers. Now, while we're out on the Colnago, uh, let's just take a look here. You know, yeah, a really beautiful looking bike. This one especially so. Also, Campagnolo six speed on this. Um, really great, um, changes really slickly, really nicely. Handles the 28 on the back, no problem. Uh, also the brakes kind of work, which is, you know, on any vintage bike, always a big bonus. But overall, you know, these are just great bikes. Um, as I said in the uh, should you buy it video, if in doubt, buy a Colnago. You want a steel frame bike. Okay, so a quick chat now about the group set uh, here uh, on the Zeus 2000. Um, now, to be fair, as I mentioned before, it's a pretty much a blatant rip-off, a copy of a Campagnolo record group set, um, and it feels and performs, again, pretty similar. I know there's some titanium parts on here. I don't really notice them, if I'm honest. One thing I do prefer, the Zeus pedals, seem to be easier to get in and out of. And on toe clips and straps, when you're kind of stopping and starting sometimes, that does make a bit of a difference. But overall, very, very little between them. Uh, certainly, I would say I prefer 
the, uh, the brakes on fit on that Colnago Super, but they're side pull brakes uh, rather than centre pulls. And I'm never a colossal fan of centre pull brakes, but that's just a personal thing. Uh, anyway, a few more miles to go, then we can talk about the frame because, you know, lots to talk about there. Geometry, fantastic, love that. Um, it's tracking beautifully straight. Uh, very, very competent. Uh, nice and nippy around the corners. Uh, it's doing everything uh, that I would want it to do. Also, um, I mean, it'll noodle and poodle around if you want it to, but it seems to really come alive uh, when you get the cadence up uh, and you really kind of, you know, give it a little bit of welly. It seems to like abuse this thing. Uh, what it really likes is just, just to get up and go for it. And uh, yeah, a lot of fun. Okay, been out there for um, just under two hours on the uh, Zeus 2000. Gives you a fair idea of how a bike rides. Um, now, overall, really, really good. And a little clickiness uh, going on on the bottom bracket, so I'm gonna pull that apart again um, and just double check all of that. But other than that, it's riding really, really well. Um, now, let's go straight to the, uh, the question. Is it as good or better than a Colnago Super of the same year? Um, now, there's no doubt both are very accomplished bikes and both are too small for me. Um, if I'm honest, um, I'm 6'3". This would definitely work for anyone six foot one or less. Um, but a 6'3", it's pushing it a bit. I just can't quite get high enough to really go for it. Um, but it is a very accomplished bike, as is the Colnago. Um, the Colnago is better at low speeds. Um, it noodles around beautifully no matter what you're doing on it. This thing likes a bit of speed, likes a bit of pace. Um, it'll noodle along fine, but it kind of comes alive uh, when you're really pushing hard and going for it. Um, I would say it's probably down to the 531 as compared to the Columbus SL. 531 could be a little bit more brittle, a little stiffer, and I think you do kind of notice that. But overall, it does not disappoint. Unlike that guy's lack of an exhaust on his motorbike, which is, of course, exceptionally annoying to anyone over the age of 30. Um, which would I choose? Um, hard to say. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. There's, there's really not much in it. Also, with the group set, uh, you notice slightly longer throw on the uh, the Zeus down tube shifters, which is quite nice. Uh, it doesn't jump out of gear, doesn't do anything nasty like that. Um, but then again, uh, neither does the Colnago record. So both really, really good. I'm going to say something here. Chatting with Cy Richardson from GCN um, about a month ago. And he was saying sometimes he thinks, you know, if you had a blindfold on you riding a bike, could you actually tell the difference? And I think this is one of those moments where, um, aside from the, the slightly longer um, stem here, I think if I was blindfolded, I'd have real difficulty telling the difference between the Super and the Zeus. But there we go, just my opinion. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, do like and subscribe for anything else that's cool to do with vintage bikes. Thanks a lot.